priceless piece of cultural heritage I could find. You should be safe now. I am. Go get Hagen. He's already crossed the Bridge of Tears. They're heading for the tomb. He won't get away this time. James, wait! I know. You regret all the terrible things you said about me. But you've grown quite fond of me by now. You want me to be careful. Actually, I just wanted to tell you to put an extra bullet in Hagen's head for me. Oh. Well, I'll do my best. You always do. I'll catch up with you. Now go! You're an extraordinary man, Mr. Quarterman, I have to admit. Can't say the same thing about you, you crazy megalomaniac! As usual, you fail to see the broader picture. Shibalba is more than just another temple. It is a stronghold, built around the very gateway to the underworld. The power to rule over the very soul of death itself, Mr. Quarterman. And you really think this power should be in the hands of a mere human? Let alone a nut job like you! Ignorant man raised questions that wise man answered a thousand years ago. It is not a question of moral, whether one should seize a chance like this or not. If it can be done, it must be done. Such is the composition of human nature, Mr. Quaterman. sure nobody will ever enter Chivalba again. Agent Goodwin, glad to have you back in one piece. 
more or less. Where's Quatermain? He has already returned to Egypt. He just took the gold and left? Most of it. But thanks to his uh, collector's spirit, we won't have to worry about finances for a while. Though the gold seems to have lost the invigorating qualities he talked about. Professor, would you mind if I took some time off? Of course not. I hear Egypt is lovely this time of the year. Journey upon this earth a man may not make it. If he sets his heart to it. No mountain he cannot climb, no desert he cannot cross. If he holds his life in his hands, counting it as nothing, ready to keep it or lose it as heaven above may order. Such are the words of my great-grandfather, Alan Quatermain, a man whom I have wrongly disrespected for most of my life. And with this I leave you, my esteemed readers, to choose whether to remain an unbeliever such as I was in what now feels like a different life. Humbly yours, James Lee Quatermain. Seven temples. And we've only seen Plenty three. Plenty more material, then, for me to write another story about our adventures. Which you can never publish. Hmm. James. Jen. You can never publish your stories. Don't worry. Nobody believed me anyway.